G'day beaks and beaks to be. Are you curious about learning more about beekeeping? I have been a beekeeper for over 55 years and rearing queen bees since the 1980s. When I met Alan through my local beekeeping club, I knew nothing about bees. This is a super that had the uh, greater wax moth in it and here's three experimental frames. We're going to put those in, uh, in a very strong nuke and see what happens. There's the uh, frame that has the big hole in it. So we're going to put it down in the brood super of, of this nuke and see what happens. This is nuke number one. So we're going to uh, Put the one frame in that has the uh, greater wax moth grub destruction and uh, see what happens. We'll come back in a few days time and uh, see what happens. Yeah, this, this is, this is a, the, uh, the little, this is one of the uh, wax moth uh, frames that was uh, torn in the centre and uh, this is the experiment that we put in the brood chamber and have a look. See the, see the white comb there? That is all worker comb and it's all laid up within seven days. Whereas the other one uh, in another super we put above the excluder, they've drawn all drone comb. Just, just uh, flip it over so you can see the other side there. Yep. This is the other side. And you can see that, it, that it's all worker comb, no, no drain comb. So it just goes to prove that if, if you've got the right conditions and you put it in, in the brood chamber, they will actually draw worker comb rather than drone comb. This, this is one of the frames that we uh, put in that, that had a lot of wax moth grub in it and, and, and cocoons and, and cells. So I'll just shake the bees off. Right, you can see up there where, where there's all new wax, that, that's where there was a big hole in the original drawn comb and uh, it's nearly full of honey in seven days. 